Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. Bring us a brand new video and of course just a brand new font to go ahead and explore your world of graphic design. Hopefully you guys of course find some new fonts to use in your font arsenals. And don't forget to check out the playlist as well in the description down below for more fonts. I think there's nothing else to say. Let's just get started. Let's just get it going. First form we have for this episode is Superline. An awesome sports actuator display typeface that's free for personal and commercial use. I love the three different ways it comes with, while also introducing a slash line variation of the font as a variable, which for me brings in a lot of energy and awesome contrast to the actual bold type the original weight comes in. So if you guys are working on sports posters or activewear projects, this font is a pretty awesome compliment. Granted, the typeface is vertical friendly, which can actually help replacing more characters in a word than something more wide. Honestly, it's an easy download and worth the hold if you guys don't see a use today. Next is Bicrode, a free for personal use font that is great for products related to gaming, future tech, space travel, virtual reality, and more. The organic flow and interpretation of the typeface makes this font a great display font for future projects. With the heavy continuous relevance of urban streetwear culture and design, this typeface is one to have for sure. The way the font's characters have a way of flowing either left or right off the letters makes the font actually super original. Pretty easy download for me. Next is Faber. As a fan of square inspired fonts and stretch font looks, this font is an instant download for me. Although the use case for this font might be pretty minimal for most people, I think this font will be actually pretty awesome for tech projects. But using letters as individual patterns is where I see a creative use for this typeface. Take for instance the A or the K letters and making them sort of like an iconography pattern for a backing, honestly it could hit pretty well. And to be fair, I think the font looks pretty great as a type texture. I mean the numbers are amazing looking as well. Give it a shot, I think you actually might be surprised the use cases you can use it for. Up next is Act Day. I feel like I'm saying that way wrong. Nothing crazy exciting or outlandish to this typeface, however it's a really clean sans serif font. It does have a characteristic of being more industrial, which lends its lowercase characters have a bit of a unique interaction that make up the letters like very sharp cut-ins on certain letters, or the way the fall-off is on certain capital letters. It's a download for me, and I think it's worth to check out. Next is B-Sign, a font I wasn't aware I needed a genre of until I stumbled upon it. But this free for personal and commercial use font has a super cool modern industrial approach, almost even mech-like. It just holds this future military-esque idea that I think is actually gonna be an instant classic for your font arsenal. I mean, even if you find no use case in the moment in your workflow, this font almost makes you want to find a reason to use it. And in the world of creative block on every single morning, I think it can come in clutch. Might I add as well, for logo designs, this might be pretty cool too. Following B sign is Galgo, a free for personal use font that holds a classic look and happens to be very vertical friendly as well. Having that grotesque look with its very tight kerning makes this font really awesome for heading usage for brochures, headers, magazines, that type of feel. And can we also appreciate the idea of the boxy inside and curved outside? I mean, it's a sexy font. Maybe you think so too. Resia is up next. This is actually going to be the next font that I use in conjunction with a really playful font because of its sans serif nature, but actually still holds a slightly uneasy feeling on some of the characters that make it playful. For areas like thumbnails on YouTube or a nice heading font for a young teen's project, you can really never go wrong with sans serif fonts, as this could actually be the perfect match you've been looking for for that font pair. Also, did I mention it's free for personal and commercial use? Pretty easy dub in my opinion. And last up for this episode is Droid. This font reminded me of a font that I actually used in the very far past, but all around it's a more updated look in my opinion. Also, does like anyone know the font that I'm actually thinking of? I just can't figure it out, but I feel like this is inspired by it. However, this free for use commercial font is a pretty awesome display font. Great for headlines, titles, and things like that. The sort of street urban attitude it holds makes for a great choice in the world of apparel and tech. I wouldn't even mind using some of these characters as like standalone logos. Something to definitely be aware of, but for me it's a pretty easy pickup for the font arsenal as well. Also, I just cannot get over how clean that R looks into the O. I don't know about you, but it just, it just, it just makes you feel good. And with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying it. Of course, all the fonts you guys see in the video here today will be in the description down below for you guys to download. You can either download them individually or use the bundle where I place all the fonts in one drive for ease of use. But with that being said, that is it for me today. Sesso HQ out. You're having to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love and enjoy your fonts.